every year there is more and more gun owners than the year before in America. And being a new gun owner, you have an extreme wide variety of firearms to choose from. And oftentimes you'll find yourself really struggling to find what is that perfect concealed carry gun or that perfect self-defense gun or home defense gun. This is a struggle that I had personally and I know many of you have as well. So what we're going to take a look at is we're going to take a look at the top 10 things the new gun owner should look for when finding a firearm. Number one, defensive calibers don't have to always be the biggest bullets. Oftentimes we're told that a good defensive round is a 45 caliber or larger. That's not always necessarily true. The best defensive round is always the one that you can fire the best. My wife carries a 22 LR. Sometimes I carry a 22 LR. I don't think there's anything wrong with it because it's a great defensive round and it gives you faster follow-up shots. But the reason my wife carries it is specifically because of her strength and she also has a lot of pain from firing the bigger board bullets. Number two, capacity matters. Capacity is a big deal. I know a lot of people feel comfortable carrying those six round revolvers and oftentimes you may think six rounds is plenty, but sometimes it's not. And you always kind of got to think about that. Some people will even carry two shot handguns. So capacity matters, really think it through. I always recommend at least 10 rounds when it comes to capacity. Number three, when you're considering carrying a gun, safeties matter, whether it be a trigger safety or a manual safety or no safety at all. That's a big deal. Only go with what you trust yourself. Me personally, I don't like carrying a striker fired pistol without a manual safety. It's just me personally, so I tend to stay away from those types of guns. Not always, because I'm a gun collector, but as I carry, I definitely do. I also don't mind having a safety at all if it's a double action pull. This is something you definitely want to consider for the new gun owner. Number four, the whole gun doesn't have to be made out of metal. A lot of new gun owners really believe that you got to have an all steel gun. That is not the case. Polymer handguns are more common than you might think. Polymer uppers in some guns are becoming more common than you might think. Some of that polymer is pretty darn strong. So when you're looking for a gun, if it has polymer on it, don't just write it off. Number five, manufacturer reputations can change. There are some gun manufacturers that have been around for around 100 years and their reputation isn't so good anymore. So just because you've heard of the brand doesn't mean they're making the best new defensive guns. Definitely do your research when it comes to manufacturers. Number six, good customer service goes a long way when you're looking at handguns. Most handgun manufacturers give lifetime warranties. But that means that they have to have good customer service to fulfill those warranties and make it a good experience for that gun owner. So also I'm going to recommend do your research on customer service because that goes a long way if you have trouble down the road. Number seven, find reputable and friendly gun stores. Being able to walk into a gun store and actually put a gun in your hand and feel it out for yourself is a big deal. Oftentimes, gun stores aren't as friendly as one might think if you haven't visited many, especially if you don't know what you're doing. Oftentimes, they look down on you. So I always recommend you find a good, reputable gun store that's also very friendly. Around Kansas City, I recommend Blue Steel Guns in Raytown. They're extremely friendly, and that's why I go back to them. I've seen a lot of new gun owners walk into these stores and not get treated so fairly just because they don't know what they're talking about. But as a new gun owner, that's got to start somewhere. Number eight, how does that gun fit your lifestyle? Being able to carry a gun, whether you're carrying it on your person or at home, is a big deal. If you can't carry it or you can't really use it at home, then you wasted your time and money. So really try to think through your lifestyle. Where are you going to bring this gun? How are you going to carry it? Where are you going to carry it? Are you going to carry it at all? That makes all the difference. Your lifestyle is absolutely going to determine the best gun for you. Number nine, looks matter. I know that seems silly, but they do. You kind of want to love the gun. Oftentimes when you look at people and they walk into a gun store, they take a look at the gun, its appearance, and oftentimes we choose the coolest looking guns. I'm guilty of that as well. So I'm going to say that looks matter. When you're choosing a good handgun, you have to enjoy owning it. And looks definitely matter. We buy cars and houses the exact same way. All you really need a car for is to get from point A to point B but absolutely the looks matter. And being a new gun owner, the looks matter as well. And finally, number 10, 
reliability is everything. Being able to rely on the thing that may preserve the life of you or your loved ones is very significant. Do your research. Reliability is probably one of the most important things next to safety features. So there you go. There's the top 10 things all new gun owners I believe should know. If you like this video, click like and subscribe.